It is very cute, isn't it? And we've been sitting here, we haven't moved from Bilfosok Dam, it's on that gorgeous Tamburti tree just the other side of the wall. And the squirrel has had a very relaxed morning. It has woken up and it sat on a little knot in the tree and then it's had a stretch and now it's exposed its further surface area to the warming of the sun. It's watching us. It's completely safe there in its tree. It's just having the best time. Not a care in the world. Aren't they sweet? <coughs> now, of course, the carefree existence of the squirrel, well, not likely to last for too long. <coughs> they will have to worry out, worry and watch out for birds of prey, snakes, mongoose, genets. And so while the life of a squirrel, and even leopards, while the life of a squirrel may look idyllic, <laughs> No, not so much. They weigh in at just 190 grams. Now, I've got absolutely no idea what that is in ounces. But 190 grams is, well, it's roughly a, just under a tenth of a pound. So he's very small. And there'll be a hole somewhere in the branch, in the trunk of this tree, in which he lives. Look at him having his stretch and his yawn. <laughs> He's sticking his little tongue out as he yawns. Now that stretching is crucially important. And there's a very good reason that your dog and your cat, when they stand up after a long snooze, do a sort of uh, downward dog position and then bend their backs and stretch the other way and stretch their feet out in front of them. It allows blood to start moving through the muscles and through the joints. And that, of course, prevents injury. And it's the same reason that if you're doing any kind of strenuous sport, you want to warm up slowly well, warm up slowly when you get a bit older and have some stretching. It's very, very important and it prevents injury. That's why they do it. It's an evolutionary response. <coughs>